Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so today uh, I've got a really cool single cut Les Paul style guitar to check out. Now I posted a teaser video of this guitar, just playing the guitar and I deliberately wasn't showing the headstock and everything. I posted that video a couple weeks ago and uh, there was a great response to that video and everybody wanted me to do a full review of the guitar. So here it is. And I mean, honestly, I gotta say, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, reviewed a lot of guitars that are a good value, but in terms of a nice guitar uh, and the best bang for your buck, I mean, I think uh, at least up to this point, this is the best one I've found. So first of all, this is a Wolf Guitars, uh, Les Paul style guitar. This guitar is $450, like $449, and that includes shipping and everything, and that includes a really nice hard case. Now this guitar is not made in China. These uh, Wolf guitars are made in South Korea. And I, you know, don't quote me on this, but I believe this is made actually in the same factory as some of the higher end LTD and Dean products, the stuff that they make over in South Korea there. And it's just, I mean, the fit and finish and craftsmanship of this guitar is really really just awesome I mean, it blows me away and there are a lot of really cool little details with this guitar here we've got a nice uh, abalone binding around the body some nice inlays and even up here uh, with the logo and around the binding on the headstock just nice nice abalone work but on the back you know they could have gone with nothing or, or just a simple binding but they actually even have a nice seven ply binding on the back of the guitar here now as far as the specs go it's very similar to what you would find on a classic Les Paul it's a mahogany body, a mahogany neck. We've got some nice uh, Grover tuners up here. You know, two volume, two tone, a setup down here with the controls, a three-way toggle switch, and a couple of humbuckers. Now, the, the pickups here are actually made in-house uh, with the company that makes this guitar. A lot of the time, pickups like that are not really very good, but these are actually really really nice i mean you'll hear in the playing clips but these have a really nice sound to them now as far as the finish i love this color combination the red black and then the kind of the cream binding around the outside you know and that's something that's really important i mean they they didn't make this to be like a relic guitar but it's it's a cream binding as opposed to a white binding i don't know it just that just gives it a much kind of more tasteful look to it and then obviously this is a transparent red finish. We've got a maple veneer top and it's transparent around the entire guitar. So you can still see the wood grain and everything through the back. I mentioned the Grover tuners earlier, but you know, there are different levels of Grover tuners and these are actually really nice, uh, really nice ones. They, they just have a really smooth, very controlled feeling when you're tuning it up. Okay, so this guitar looks fantastic, but let's go ahead and check out the playing clips and we'll listen to how it sounds.
Alright guys, what did you think of the sound of this guitar? Honestly, I mean I love the sound, I love the sound of these uh, the custom pickups that the guitar has, but the, you know the playability on this guitar is so nice. The action is really low, there are no sharp fret ends, these are nice uh, kind of medium jumbo frets. Just everything as far as the craftsmanship on the guitar is just done really really well. A, a big plus about when you order one of these guitars uh, something that really surprised me actually is the guitar comes set up already uh, when they ship it to you so it's not like they're just throwing it in a box and then they ship it off to you I mean that's how most guitars are sold at least mail order stuff uh, that's how it's mostly sold today but this guitar I mean you can tell when you got this I mean they actually you know they made the the action adjustments the frets have been polished I and mean, all that stuff and it's it's just really nicely done I mean and for a guitar that's in this price range you never ever see that you know usually you have to make all kinds of you know truss rod adjustments and so forth and you know if you're if you live in a weird place with with different weather or something I mean you might have to make some of those changes later on but for in terms of playability out of the box I mean this really this really just blew me away now one thing that I should mention about this guitar it might be a plus it might be a, a downside depending on how you look at it but this is a very heavy guitar this guitar weighs about 10 pounds so if you're looking for a nice lightweight Strat guitar that you can just toss around, this is probably not it. But, you know, if you're looking for a heavy, solid guitar, this is really going to suit you nicely. So, yeah, in the past I've reviewed a lot of lower budget guitars or guitars that are, you know, a really good value for your money. But a lot of those guitars, you know, they don't have really nice features. They're, they're pretty bare bones and that kind of stuff. But this is just, I mean, a totally playable, totally professional guitar. You don't have to switch the pickups, you don't have to switch the hardware, just as it is, this is a great guitar. And like I said, uh, you know, $450 ships from within the United States, and it comes with a really nice hard case. I mean, this is like a, uh, a hard case, you know, form-fitted with the TSA latches, so you could put this in the baggage hold on an airplane and not worry about the guitar, that kind of stuff. I mean, getting all of that together at this price point is pretty unheard of, and uh, yeah, I mean, I it's definitely one to check out. I mean, I'm really, you know, I bought this guitar. They didn't, uh, you know, they didn't just send this to me for free or anything. So, uh, I'm extremely pleased with it. Now, these days, there's always a lot of talk about how uh, a classic Gibson Les Paul, as cool as they are, the quality control is not what it used to be. And, you know, some people feel you're just paying for the Gibson name when you buy a guitar like that. But when you look at something like this, like, like the Wolf guitars, I mean, they're not cutting corners, you know, they're not uh, you know, using cheap components, anything like that. You're looking at, you know, $450, $500 for a guitar like that, and it's just, you know, it's just a great guitar. But obviously, Wolf is not a really well-known brand name like Gibson is. So what do you guys think? Is it still worth it to pay two or even $3,000 for a brand new Gibson Les Paul? Or do you think you're better off going with a company that's maybe not as well-known, but can provide more of a value? All right, guys, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I'll put some links in the video description below where you can find that guitar as well as my backing tracks that I used in the demo and also a link to the amplifier that I used in the demo, which is the Black Star ID Core. If you have any suggestions for things you'd like me to review in the future, please leave that in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you soon.